I wanna talk about all these AIO coolers. It's quite frustrating to see some of the advertisements out there today in mounting these AIOs, mounting in the front with the lines up and the pump almost near the top of the loop. This is bad, very bad. What's going on today, YouTube? Thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you're having a great day. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so right now. Smash that like button, subscribe button, and let's get started. I wanna talk about all these AIO coolers that come with a radiator and 120 millimeter or 140 millimeter fans. And of course the pump and connections, RGB hub, whatever you're getting, whatever cooler that you are purchasing and it comes with, we're gonna talk about all of them. Capilex from Corsair, we have Thermaltake, NZXD, Kraken, and such. They're pretty much all identical in almost every way. Certain specs are slightly different efficiencies slightly different but pretty much at the end of the day they all have one function to cool your cpu there are many ways that you can mount an aio in fact it's quite frustrating to see some of the advertisements out there today in mounting these aios one of which is mounting in the front with the lines up and the pump almost near the top of the loop this is bad it's very bad but not the worst there are others that mount their radiator and lines at the bottom keeping the pump all the way above the top of the loop which is very bad it's even worse ideally you want the pump as low in the loop as possible the best situation for this is to have the radiator and fans mounted at the top with the pump below it on the cpu now you can also mount the radiator and the fans on the front of the case but you want to keep the lines at the bottom you don't want the lines at at the top and i'm going to go over this and show you guys in detail exactly what i'm talking about the only reason why i mounted the lines on the computer behind me up top on the front was because of the fact that this case needed to be modified in order to have room to put the lines at the bottom i had to elongate the holes otherwise i would have never installed this aio with the lines at the top so let's go ahead and take a closer look at my computer behind me and how I fixed it. Like I was saying, guys, you can see right here on the front of the case, I had my front radiator installed with the lines up because I didn't have time during the build and filming to install it any other way. However, now that I've got some extra time, I am making a few modifications to the front of the case because you do not want to mount your radiator in the front of the case with the lines up. Although this isn't really the worst case scenario. So I'm going to go over this real quick. I'm not going to make it long, boring, and drawn out. I'm going to explain it to you easy and simply. So ideally what you want to do with a radiator is you want it mounted at the top. Radiator at the top, lines pointed down, and of course the pump head at the bottom of the loop. You never want the pump to be at the top of the loop. That's a very bad thing. Then air is going to get into the pump. You're going to have air all through the lines. You're going to have permeation and premature wear on your parts and noise, of course, which is very annoying. Your CPU could get hotter, which in turn could wear out the pump and permeation will increase even more and your performance and your computer will be even worse. You do not want this. Ideally, you want to have the radiator at the top and you want the pump on the bottom of the loop where it's at right now. However, the issue is most cases, there's not enough room at the top for two fans or three fans. And a lot of manufacturers advertise through marketing gimmicks and photos, having the radiator at the front of the computer case with the lines at the top, which is incorrect installation and it's really not the greatest idea. Now, of course, it's better than having the radiator on the bottom of the case and the pump at the top of the loop, which is literally the worst case scenario, worst case installation. You do not want that at all. Mounting it in the front with the lines up is still better than mounting the radiator at the bottom. And because the pump is not at the top of the loop and it's below the top of the radiator, it's really not the worst case installation and permeation and premature wear won't be the issue hear as much as noise or gurgling sound. Now there are some pumps that are quieter than others. So it's going to depend on the pump that you have. You really want to have these lines at the bottom and you want to have the pump at the bottom or as close to the bottom of the loop as possible. And the reason for this is air typically settles at the top of the radiator. So if the lines are at the top, air is going to be fighting water to get into the pump. Because the pump is not at the top of the loop and it's below the top of the radiator, it won't be a huge issue like it would be if you mounted the radiator in the bottom. However, flipping this is going to give it the ideal flow and give you longevity and better performance cooling on your CPU. And because the fact that there is air gathering at the top of this radiator, 
the flow is not ideal to the pump head. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean by that. I'm removing this radiator. So now you can see I flipped the radiator, pay no attention to these fans. I'm going to be putting them right back on once I get everything installed correctly. I just didn't wanna pull the cables out of the back while doing this. You can see that right now the lines are at the bottom of the radiator. The pump is still below the top of the loop and that is pretty much the proper installation if you're going to be mounting your radiator in the front. Because what's gonna happen here is air is going to build up right up at the top here, the small amounts of air, but it doesn't matter because the lines are down here and there'll be no air here, which means there'll be no air in the pump and there'll be no gurgling, no permeation and no issues whatsoever. And the reason why this is the ideal situation and there's gonna be no issues, no noise problems, no permeation and maximum performance is because the only air in the closed loop system right now is going to be sitting up here but yet the pump lines are down here, which means it's not gonna be gurgling water or pulling air into the pump. Now, GPUs are going to be an issue depending on your case. However, I have the 3080, which is the largest video card out there besides the 3090. So you can see how the lines right here, once I get it set up and I kinda tuck them down a bit, they're not really riding along the video card at all. And this is the proper setup for your cooling. I know a lot of people do this incorrectly. If you have a single radiator in the front, you really want to have the lines down. You could mount it up here with the lines down here, or you could mount it at the bottom with the lines down there. It really does not matter. If you mount any radiator in the front, you want your lines down. It does not look as good at all, but it's the proper way to do it. In a situation where you've got a radiator in the rear, the lines are going to still be better off down, and of course the pump being below the top of the loop, which is where you want it. Only three options are, Mount your radiator at the top or mount it back or front with the lines down, making sure that the pump is below the top of the loop. As you can see, the top of the loop is right about here. So the pump is still below. This orientation is perfect. And this is the proper way to install your cooler. If you have an NZXT case, the reason why I've got everything apart is because it does not line up with the cooler. As you guys can see right here, the holes don't quite line up on the top. I have to elongate the holes and make these grooves a little bigger so the screws will go through. Not much, just enough to make it work so that I can have this installed properly. Okay guys, you can see here that I got everything completed. Lines are now on the bottom. There's no stress against the graphics card and you can see it down here. There's no real stress at all. And they're not touching the heat sink, just the outer portion of the case. So there'll be no issues there. They're not touching the fan blades or anything like that. I even put like a little retainer clip here just to keep the lines together. As you guys can see, the lines move freely. There is no stress on them. And this is how a cooler should be mounted in the front of a case. You can see how I changed the orientation of my cooler. You're inducing permeation and wear and tear, noise, and all kinds of unnecessary and unwanted performance issues, cooling issues. Uh, cooling is going to be reduced depending on if you get air bubbles and it gets sucked into the pump head. You don't want any of that. It's real simple, guys. You mount the radiator at the top or you mount it in the front with the lines down and make sure the pump is below the top of the radiator so it's below the top of the loop. Fluid leaking out of these coolers is less likely. Pump failure and noise and overall endurance and performance and permeation is the real issue at hand. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to smash that subscribe button, punch the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos below. Be sure to stop in for the live streams. Thanks so much for stopping in, guys. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves in these strange times and be safe out there and I will see all of you on the next upload or live stream. Peace.